Hey there, Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Um, it's getting that time, so we're going to do some acorn squash. Love squashes. I think that they're farly underused, but we're going to do an acorn squash soup today. So we've got some, some of the squash. Look for these, nice and flat. We're just going to cut them in half, roast them. Um, I'm going to roast them up with a little onions, a little garlic, a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm going to hit them in there for about 350 for well, 30, 45 minutes. So you're just going to want them nice and tender. And then we'll get everything else going. So let's just get started. I like to take these and just slice them straight down. And we're going to get a couple rolling and make a little batch of soup. And then we're just going to scoop out the seeds and get them going. Take a little spoon. And scoop them out just like you would a little pumpkin. Like I said, we're going to roast these off 350, 30, 40 minutes. And now I'm going to take a little pan and we're just going to give it a little light spray just so it doesn't stick too bad. <coughs> and then we're going to season these up with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. And we're going to do them face down or cut side down. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of onions as well. We're going to do some onions and some whole, ro whole garlic cloves. And this will give us some roasted garlic and onions. And we might as well give those a little drizzle too. And then let's get these going. All right, into the oven. All right. And while those are in the oven roasting, let's get, our, the, let's get this started. We're going to take a little bit of some butter and some shallots, and we'll get that sauteed up a little bit. So a little bit of butter to get started. And some diced shallots. I've got one already diced up here, but remember how to do that. So we've got that, and we'll get that sauteed up. And then once, that's, once those get nice and a little caramelized up a little bit, we're going to take a little bit of sherry, and we're going to deglaze it with a little bit of sherry and just a little bit of some apple cider vinegar. Get that one with the mother in it. Give it a little shake so you get all the good stuff too. So we'll get that going. All right. Looks like our squash are ready here. Let's see what we've got. Ooh. Yeah, nice and tender. Look at that. That's perfect. And then we've got the onions and the garlic roasted up beautiful. Let's grab, that, uh, let's grab those shallots off there. So we've got our shallots with the uh, sherry and the apple cider vinegar, and we're just going to scoop this in and get it ready to go. And these just come right out, and again, you just want to get all of it except for the, uh, the peel like that. If you just go a little round it like that, you'll be able to scoop them right out. Give them a nice little round, and again, it's nice and soft, so it's coming right out of the shell. Beautiful. And then let's not forget about these onions and garlic that we roasted up too. So we'll get those in there. And between the nice shallots that got caramelized and the roasted onions and garlic, this is going to have some beautiful flavor. All right, we're going to take this, and to this we're going to add a little apple cider, just some fresh apple cider, maybe a cup or cup and a half, two, and a couple cups of uh, some nice chicken stock. I'm going to return that back on the stove, bring it up to a boil. And while we've got that going, we're also going to add in a little thyme. A little thyme and a little sage. Just pick the, pick the 
thyme through. And a little bit of sage, and we'll just chop some of that up. And you can just give this a rough chop, because we're going to puree all that through anyway. All right, we'll take this back to the stove, bring it all up to boil. And then we're going to take and puree that up, and then see where we're at. So I'm just using my handy dandy little stick mixer. These are great. Now we got that nice and pureed. That's a beautiful consistency. Look at that. All right. It's still going to be, a, you're still going to have some nice texture to it. Now we're going to add in our finishing touches here. We got a little bit of molasses and just a little bit to sort of cut the sweetness. And I like a little, I like a little bit of nutmeg and some cinnamon too. So we'll just do a couple little grates of some nutmeg. And the same thing with a little cinnamon. All right, now we're ready to go. A little salt and pepper. And you got that ready for your guests or your dinner, family. Give it a nice stir and bring it back on there. And if you want, you want to get all fancy a little bit, I just fried up a little sage leaf, put that right on top. But there we've got some acorn squash soup. White Apron Catering, Chef Jeff here. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know.